going to the gym. Yeah, I'm going to the gym. Get me up, so in it, so where I can find myself. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the <laughs> sky. What's up my fellow weirdos? I get a lot of questions over on my Instagram about how I get motivated to work out. It is truly the best thing that I have found to help with a lot of my mental health challenges. So I'm gonna take you along for two days of me getting fired and motivated to get on up and get to a climbing gym and then to a dance class. Stick around for day two if you want to see me rap and dance. Let go. Me, will you really be shy from the inside? Fit check. People often fall into the trap of thinking I can only work out or take care of myself when I get everything else done. And I wanted to chat with you about why that doesn't need to be true. I literally never have all of my shit together all of the time. It's impossible and that's okay. You're allowed to pick and choose what things are important to you at what times and prioritize accordingly. My house is a mess right now. I'm not a huge fan, but I am actively choosing to prioritize getting this YouTube video out, eating some healthy food and getting myself out to the gym. So I just want to give you permission to not have everything together all the time. Balance doesn't mean perfect balance every day. Balance means balance over time in whatever way works for you. Whatever feels manageable for you is where you want to start. You don't need to jump in and do the hardest thing. What is that one step that you could take that would bring you closer to where you want to be, but that doesn't feel too overwhelming? Take that. Going to the gym, yeah, I'm going to the gym. I'm going to the gym, yeah, I'm going to the gym. What up, dear? How's it going? I'm going climbing. What you doing? You eating apples, but not really. But you never fall off. You was made for that. You gotta be who you really be shy from the inside. Still the same. Why you always hating? That's a shame. Gotta split the profits with the ones that came. With your other homies, share the vision. Yeah, we got the same picture. You won't catch me in the club. I like to meditate. I be higher than a bird. I like to levitate. When I ask them how they doing, it ain't never great. So I be focused on the money, need a better rate. Baby girl eating veggies, doing yoga at the crib. Swimming in the winter, don't get colder where I live. Still the same number. If you got it, you can hit me. Pull up to the park, I'ma match you on a sticky. Up. What up? What up? Okay. Hello. Hi. Good to see you again. It's actually the day after and I didn't really film after I went climbing last night because one, it was really dark. Two, I had to rush to the grocery store to pick up groceries since they close at nine and I was like cruising there, cruising through the aisles and had to like make my way back really quickly and then just kind of crashed for the night. But I'm back. How's it going? I'm miss you and today I am actually going to a dance class so I figured I would just kind of continue on with where we left off yesterday. This is my outfit for the day and if you don't like it you can leave. Does anyone know that TikTok trend? I actually hate it so much. I don't know what my issue is but it just really annoys me so I don't know why I just felt the need to add it in but you're welcome. It's time to clean up the kitchen from yesterday. That was such a mess. I have uh, an hour ish. So I'm on a body double session with my ADHD membership and while I'm on it I'm gonna clean up and then I'm gonna get ready to go do my hip hop class. <laughs> Oh, 
place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up. Not perfect, but it's better than it was. We all about progress over perfection here. Oh, you sucker MCs got nothing on me from my grades to my lines. You can't touch Kevin G. I'm a mathlete, a narrative preferred, but forget what you heard. I'm like James Bond the third. So just sticking that thing I'm coming to pour. The G is silent when I sneak to the door and make love to your woman on the bathroom floor. I don't play it like Shaggy. You'll know it was me. Because the next time you see it, she'll be like, Oh, Ken G. I have an important message, but the first more important message is that if you wear matching socks, we're probably not friends. I'll make exceptions for sure, but just an instinct, you know? I wanted to actually share something really briefly about something my therapist and I talked about on my call today, which was me exploring like this whole listen to your body idea. And that's something I really needed at one point in my life. And I had an unhealthy relationship with pushing myself and I worked so hard to heal my relationship with my body, food, and the gym. And now that I have, mostly, I have really started reintegrating movement and realizing how beneficial it is for my mental health, for depression, anxiety, ADHD. I realize that what I'm doing is listening to myself, but not my thoughts. Because if I listened to my thoughts, I would never go to the gym. I would never work out or do much of anything for that matter because my thoughts are uh, not really that pleasant. They're anxious and they want me to do the most comfortable thing. So I have learned how to identify kind of myself and then my thoughts. Myself knows that pushing myself out of my comfort zone mentally and physically to an extent is what's best for me best for my mental health and my physical body. And therefore, that's what we're gonna listen to. And when those thoughts come and they're like, maybe we shouldn't go to the gym today. You're tired, you don't wanna talk to this person, you're running low on gas, you don't have clean clothes, whatever the case may be. I've already made my decision. <laughs> so it's not a debate with myself. It's, oh, cool, those thoughts are there. Of course they are, they're always there. They're not going away. And I am going to do the thing anyway that I know makes me feel so much better and I know that because I take notes on whenever I don't want to go do movement how I feel before how I feel after and it is always better it's always when I feel the most joy the most alive the most inspired and proud of myself so that's the part of me that I am listening to of course there are times when I give myself passes I just need time off. So I listen to myself and I listen to my body, but I'm, I'm not listening to my thoughts. So I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. I found my way. I found my way. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day Cause I found my way, I found my way In bad times, I know I'll be okay Cause I found my way rushing of course so I've got to be fast but if you've never tried these bars I highly 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 recommend them I eat gluten-free and dairy-free for a variety of health reasons and these are so good I live in the mountains so I have to bring my garbage down to the huge bin and I like combining this with doing something fun so it's like all together getting out of the house and we're officially off looks like I got a dick I was too chicken to film in class, so I'm gonna show a video from a class I took before. Uh, if you don't speak, 
then you won't get spoken to People only see you when you up, then they notice you Trying to be a legend, cray lines is quotable Only the real shall last, and I only know a few People when they feel I made it back from dance class on less than a quarter tank of gas because I couldn't be bothered to stop, so hopefully that's not a problem. Class was amazing, and by amazing, I mean everyone was amazing, and I sucked because it's a mixed level class, but it doesn't feel very beginner friendly. But it was still so much fun, and it's so good to be surrounded by people who are better than you at things. It challenges you, it makes you see what's possible, so. Remember anything is better than nothing and starting is the hardest part. Any movement is amazing and you deserve to take care of yourself. Let me know in the comments what your first step is and any support you may need. Catch you in the next video next week.